Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and today I wanted to do a homeschool book haul. So check out the books that we have found and that we're adding to our homeschool curriculum and our bookshelves. The first one I wanted to start with was one that's actually part of our curriculum. So this is Word Roots Beginnings. Um, and this has worksheets that are teaching the roots and little activities. And so we're third grade, and I think it's recommended third grade and up. Um, yep, grades three, four for the starting. Um, so far, uh, like it, we've done about three lessons in, and the kid likes it. They're pretty simple, and we are going to continue to use that as part of our language arts curriculum. The next book is also part of our curriculum. This is In the Beginning, Creation Stories from Around the World, Virginia Hamilton and Barry Moser. These, this book was recommended as part of the Blossom and Root curriculum, the optional geography and culture. So we finally got this book and we're getting started with those lessons um, and tying those lessons in. So far, again, really like it. It's providing um, different stories about the uh, creation stories from different uh, cultures. And that's been really interesting and something that we are looking forward to learning more. The next book also came recommended from the Blossom and Root curriculum. Our science curriculum is about animals. So we got the DK uh, Smithsonian Animals book, exclamation mark. And of course, when I start looking at this one, um, I uh, found a lot of others, but we'll get to those. But so this is really nice. It's got big pictures, lots of facts. It covers all sorts of different animals. Sorry, I turned to bugs and then snakes. I should have warned you guys. Here, something cute. Marsupials, but it's a big thick book. We're going to be using parts of it as part of our science curriculum through the Blossom and Root. Um, the other book I was supposed to get, <laughs> and I apparently ordered the wrong one, was Dinosaur. Um, I didn't get that one. I probably will go back and get that one, but I did see this one and really like this one from DK, which is Where on Earth Dinosaurs and Other Prehistoric Life. So this one actually goes about like showing that geography component with it. Um, so showing the range of different animals like the T-Rex um, and showing the globe. We were looking here how the continents have moved around. So I'm finding that one helpful and even though it doesn't exactly match um, the book we were supposed to get. Uh, we're tying it in just fine, and I may still go back and get the other dinosaur book, but I thought this would be nice to sort of connect our geography with our science, so that's that goal. Now, like I said, once you start looking <laughs> on Amazon for books, then you find that, oh, some people like these books and these books, and so then you start looking at other books. So the next that is books that I purchased because they were recommended based upon the other books I was looking at. So this one is The Wondrous Workings of Planet Earth um, and by Rachel Ignatowski. Um, anyway, uh, lots of nice little drawings and the facts and information. It's got good little maps in there too. So looking forward to this, I've got to read through it a little bit to see where we want to plug it in. Um, but it's definitely like science and geography again. And again, like just really nice pictures. So looking forward to that. And I think that the kid will really enjoy looking at this one and, and reading along with this one. So like I said, I got animal, I didn't get dinosaur, but we did go with the science because the kid has decided that this year is going to be a science year 
and they want to know as much as possible about science before next year. So we'll look through this. We'll see if there's particular pieces that we might want to incorporate um, throughout our other science activities. Um, we do have a ton of science stuff planned, but I think this one looks good and maybe can serve as a resource as we start doing some other science activities to kind of tie it into that. Then history is something that I gotta be honest, I didn't really enjoy as a kid in school. Didn't necessarily uh, remember lots of pieces, not that great with the names and dates. So I kind of got this a little bit for me so that we can learn history together and maybe I'll remember it a little bit better because this book has, you know, nice pictures and facts and um, it's got uh, a lot of good pictures in there. Um, I think breaking it into little pieces and having visuals like timelines um, really can help and make some of that information stick. So here's hoping that I learned some history too. And then I was really excited. This book just came. And this is the DK Smithsonian Natural History, the ultimate visual guide to everything on Earth. And the pictures are just so beautiful. So, um, and, and it's huge. It's a huge book. <laughs> and I'm super glad that, you know, the box stayed together and it made it because the box was pretty beat up when it got to us. Um, but everything was in there and the book itself was fine, but it's got everything. It's got it all divided up. And so I thought this might be really good, especially as we continue to learn about animals this year, um, that we are able to then look up pictures and get really good pictures of um, some of these animals that we're learning about. Because uh, first of all, I don't even know if our zoo is fully operational again yet. And second of all, um, we don't have all of those animals um, in our zoo. So those were things that, well, started with the curriculum, then went to the Amazon recommendations. Um, this next set was actually something that I saw on another YouTuber's channel, um, something that they had found, and uh, I will try to link that video. But these are these like ABC book that grows with your reader. So um, they are by Chris Berry, and then some of them also have um, a secondary author, uh, but it's like the ABCs of Space, um, which is our current favorite. And they're really cool because they have like your basic A is for asteroid, and then has a little bit more information, and then has a lot more information. So even at third grade, we, uh, the learner, <laughs> my learner can sit there and read them and thinks they're cool, doesn't think that they're too hard and scary because, you know, they're board books and they're just the alphabet, but at the same time is reading the whole paragraphs and reading it to us. So we have the ABCs of space, the ABCs of science, which covers a lot of other types of, uh, there we go. Of vocabulary, the ABCs of oceanography. So we've got some cool uh, vocabulary in there. I just bought all of them that I could find because I figured why not. The ABCs of economics. We'll see if we read that one too much. <laughs> the ABCs of mathematics, which actually was the first choice as far as what, which one to read, which surprised me, but cool. And you know, has some uh, vocabulary for math, ABCs of biology. And some of these terms, I got to tell you, I don't know what some of them are, right? So it'll be learning for both of us. 
ABCs of physics. There we go. And ABCs of engineering. So just an example. And again, like they have the, let me point backwards. They have the level one, the level two, and then the level three. And they really describe that on the back, right? That it's supposed to grow with your reader. Um, you know, so yeah, you could get these for a little kid and then eventually use them later um, for the higher level stuff just to expose them to some of that terminology. But we got them now. And of course, my husband was like, are those baby books? I'm like, they're not exactly baby books. I know they're board books, but, and you know, so we've got him on board now. The last set of books that I wanted to show were things that I actually got from um, Montessori uh, website um, where you could order materials. Uh, the first one is this, uh, I wonder what's out there, um, a vision of the universe for primary classes. It's got um, a lot of little activities that you can set up to do some hands-on uh, exploration. It's got some songs and poems in there. It's got some pictures of what some of those activities would look like. I haven't used this one yet, but this one is around space. We're going to spend some time on space in the future and um, going to incorporate it then at that point. But I thought this would be great. Give me some ideas, um, some hands-on activities that won't be um, too challenging. We're sort of in that middle phase where some of the little kid stuff is a little too little, and some of the big kid stuff is still a little bit too complex. So um, I need to find some more like this, but this was from uh, National Geographic Kids. This one's about the Chinese New Year. I did get this from the Montessori uh, site, which I'll link below, but um, I also want to find some more, even if they're not necessarily from that site, um, but that are around holidays that are celebrated in, by different um, cultures or in different locations, so we can kind of add that and incorporate or read about those things when the timing comes up for those events. And so the last books are from the Montessori website, but they are Timeline Companion Book Series. And these two are around the Paleozoic era, the Mesozoic era, and the Cenozoic era. Um, these I'm using to go along with our dinosaur unit that we just started with Blossom and Root. So we did the first few of animals, and now we're gonna do a short detour onto dinosaurs, and then we're gonna get back to more animals. Um, but it's just a little book that is going to be, again, sort of fact-based um, terminology, and we can look up and read a little bit more about some of these um, creatures and life that existed during the time periods um, to go along with that. And it's got some of the dinosaurs in there, and it's got some plants and, you know, just a short little fact-based stuff. So those are the books that we have currently for our homeschool, not counting the literature-based books that are coming with the curriculum. And when I get those, I'll be happy to show those to you. So thanks for watching.